hello guys now I will show you how you can use pusher real-time notification into your Laravel application so in the Laravel official document documentation you can see that they are suggesting to install a new composer package to work with pusher channel so uh, now we will uh, check it out into uh, pusher website also you can see the pusher website has uh, the domain name is pusher.com and you have to sign in here after sign in you will see that there had channel and you have to click on the get started and just create a new channel I will work for my university websites so my channel name will be university and I am my cluster is near to Mumbai and you can choose your cluster uh, option uh, according to your nearest area so I am selecting the Mumbai and create app after created the app uh, they are providing the two type of uh, codes one for a uh, client side this is for client side and this one for the server side so as a client side they are uh, providing opportunity to use the different type of technologies such as Vue.js, React.js and other and I will use the default JavaScript and will copy this code just copy this code the, just uh, keep in mind and there will have the script tag with the pusher main.js and the initialization code I am copying this code from script tag then their initialization code so let's copy this code this is my website and I will I will put this code into my website header or footer I have opened my project into the visual code studio and this is my front end file and I will put this code here okay it's done now we have to check if it's work fine then just click on the debug console after clicking on it you can you can click on uh, event creator I will create a new event and just you have to make sure if your event channel name and your uh, topic name will be same I will just put it here university you can customize it university and my event name will be notice and you can test if it's work fine and you can put it here university topic name is notice I will test it as just putting any uh, demo message send We should to receive the real-time notification as we have already initiated the our uh, our pusher code into our website so let's check it again send event and you can see that we can uh, successfully receive the message without any reloading the page so I think it's work fine now we have to work for the the server side so you can customize this message you can currently you can see there has a alert and you can make you can convert this alert your customized notification system so it's no problem so I'm just uh, now I will show you how is how we can send custom event into the pusher dashboard now we are sending event from the pusher dashboard to our website but we will not send any notification or send any event from the pusher dashboard we have to send real-time notification from our project to the pusher and pusher will send notification into our website without any reload or refresh so let's start so let's uh, it's the client side I think the clown client side it's uh, work fine now we have to check it the server side documentation you can see that uh, for the server side they also providing the different type of technology there has also PHP and Laravel and this uh, this is a Laravel project I will use the select the Laravel clicking on Laravel 
and in the laravel they are suggesting to install a new package composer package which uh, name is pusher slash pusher php server in the laravel website official website they also suggesting to install the same package so let's copy this package name and install it into your project this is my project root folder and i will install the composer package in my project okay so package is uh, successfully installed now check the another documentation you can see there has a pusher app id pusher app key pusher app secret so probably we have to set this this variable into our env file just copy it and go to your env file and in the env file just replace this three variable and there has another variable whose name is pusher app cluster so what will be the value so just check this front end and you can see that there has a cluster app 2 now copy it and paste it here and you can see there has a broadcast driver and currently it's logged and we have to change it pusher as we have work in the env file then we have to reload in the env file by this composer optimize clear command php artisan optimize clear i think our env file is uh, reloaded now it should do a file then we have to create a new event class in our application to send event from our application to the pusher dashboard using api PSP artisan Mac event notice event okay in the app directory you can see that there has a new uh, directory about the events and notice events now check it our next documentation that has index.php that means uh, they are suggesting this uh, this code they are suggesting to put this code into our event class i am copying it and replacing the and removing this code and pasting it here there has public property and there has a message this message is assigning to this property and there has a channel name so you can uh, we have to set our channel name university university and notice it's a event name now we have to send a custom message from our uh, suppose uh, when i will publish a new notice mm, in this notice module suppose if i update any notice then we should to send our notification into front end so that our user can understand uh, something updated in notice board so let's find out this controller method this is http controller admin this is uh, notice board notice board controller just find out the update method here is the update okay after successfully updated then we have to send event just import the event class use app events plus backslash notice event here you can dispatch the event just set this custom message suppose notice updated and if you click on this event then it will uh, redirect to the event class it's uh, it's uh, successfully integrated in the 
in the controller in the notice board method now we can try it if it's work fine so let's try to update our notice board let's check the this uh, dashboard clear the log and try it again updating the notice board and if you can see any log here I can see that there has no any logs so we have to check it where is the problem notice event dispatch this one universe city okay we have to add a new uh, class here this is implement suit broadcast this broadcast class already imported just we have to implement it with event class now we can check it again update yes you can see that the notice updated and if we change this message from the controller suppose notice updated by auth user name auth user name We have updated our notice board and you can see that notice updated by super admin and here we'll have a space yes it's work fine so you can see that how we can implement a uh, pusher service into our laravel application and we can customize this uh, notification as well so without any problem this is currently has a alert box and we can make it a IJI toaster uh, I love this IJI toaster IJI toaster just search about IJI toaster CDN IJI and you can see that uh, there has CDN dot, j dot js and in that uh, uh, website you can see there has ajai toast main.js and ajai toast css just copy this to script tag and there has one script tag and another was style tag just in the footer area just put it here the script tag in footer and put this style tag in header area okay our style and script tag is successfully integrated now we have to check IGI toaster documentation to get a sample IGI toast there has official website and you can see there has a different type of layout of notification you can use it and just click on the documentation to get a sample this is a IGI toaster sample I will copy it and paste it into a script tag in footer ok in the front end we oh, should to see a new notification about the IGI toaster yes you can see that hey what you like to add so we have to uh, change the message uh, according to the pusher incoming message now move this pusher script and initialization code into footer
okay uh, now this iji toast initialization code should to replace in a alert area and there has data there's put this data dot message because we just want to uh, show the message now we can try it Re just reload your front end and now we can send a new event to pusher and you can see that a, a iji toaster notification hey notice notice updated by super admin if you uh, go to the different page like uh, the research page and then if you update the notice board and you can also see the uh, iji toaster notification without any reload or refresh any page so thank you for watching this video if you think my video is useful for you then please subscribe my youtube channel to support me so thank you very much